breaking news. In fact, it was fake news. The SEC did not approve the BlackRock ETF iShares. It is confirmed by BlackRock that it was not approved. And Cointelegraph, the first one to report this fake news, subsequently went on to delete it as if nothing had happened. I'm Megan Nilsson, aka Crypto Megan, your host for today. And Breaking news turns out to be fake news. In fact, it's been a very wild ride in the cryptoverse this morning. Welcome. If you're just waking up, some crazy news. People went ecstatic on the interwebs thinking that the BlackRock ETF was approved. And in fact, it was not. That's right. It was a myth. It was a rumor. BlackRock themselves confirmed that this was not in fact true. And Bitcoin consequently gave away all of the gains that it got. So let's go over exactly how this happened. And don't worry, we're going to go over what will actually happen when that happens, not if, but when. So stay tuned. So first of all, fake report. Bitcoin gives it all back. No confirmation on Cointelegraph report on Bitcoin ETF. So when this news went live, I'm in a lot of uh, influencer chats and different kinds of chats, and they were all saying, who confirmed this news source? There was no confirmation. It was just Cointelegraph and a few others at the time. A couple things make me suspicious of this report. It would be odd that they would just approve BlackRock iShares ETF. The thinking is that they would approve a bunch at the same time like they did with the Ether future ETF. And Kathy Wood says this a lot. A lot of analysts say it makes sense that they would approve all of the ETFs at once to give them not to give one the unfair advantage. So that was already suspicious. And then we have here BlackRock has just confirmed to me this is false. Their application is still under review. And this is what happened to the Bitcoin price. A huge surge followed by a huge crash. Um, but, you know, on the brighter side and the silver lining is this is like a kind of like a pre what's to come. This is a kind of a test run. It will happen and it will move fast and quickly and it will be explosive. So this this isn't altogether a horrible thing that we got to see this, but it's not great that the cryptoverse goes through manipulation like this. There are questions as to whether or not this was pr on purpose or on accident, and we won't know. We There's no way of knowing, but uh, as you can see here, now Cointelegraph is editing their tweet. Now they've simply deleted it. So really weird things going on here. Let's continue to dive in. So next up, we have this report. Fake news briefly drives Bitcoin price up on erroneous BlackRock ETF approval claims. The Bitcoin price jumped over 5%. In fact, all, I, th I believe it was all, all the way up to 7% to $30,000. Incredible. And, and as you see here, this post, BlackRock just confirmed it's fake news. Great way of taking liquidity on Bitcoin. So people here in the cryptoverse are very skeptical. Rightfully so. There is a lot of manipulation that happens many times over publications have been paid and crypto influencers by whales to tout a certain narrative, whether those whales want to drive the price up or drive the price down. It has happened. It will continue to happen. I'm not saying it happened with Cointelegraph. You know, they're a very reputable news source and they're looking into it, but this kind of stuff does happen, unfortunately. So we've got to be on our guard and more importantly, acting acting before the news comes. This is not an if, it's a when, guys. We should be preparing right now, not waiting for it to happen and piling in. That's what everybody does every single cycle. They wait for the good news to be confirmed. They wait for those big green candles and then they go. We are not chasing these big green candles ever, ever, ever. These green candles we stay away from. At some point, the price will come back down. There will be a correction and you can get another entry, but we never chase those green candles. We always wait it out or prepare beforehand so you don't have to feel that stress. You just set it and forget it, right? And moving right along, we've got this funny summary of the day. Influencers chronology on ETF today. BlackRock Bitcoin spot ETF just got approved. Rumors that BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF just got approved. Wait, there wasn't any source and it might be fake. Cointelegraph intern memes and trolls and allegedly BlackRock denies the approval. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was an interesting morning to say the least. Here is another one of those influencing trolls as the latest. 
Cointelegraph puts out an apology. We apologize for a tweet that led to the dissemination of inaccurate information regarding the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF. An internal investigation is currently underway. We are committed to transparency and will share the findings of the investigation with the public once it is concluded within three hours. And here you see the meme. People who short the Cointelegraph intern. There he is. Probably fired, no doubt. We hope the best for him. Anyway, moving right along. Here is one of the posts by Crypto Rover. Cointelegraph just deleted their posts, acting like nothing happened. Wild stuff today. Wild stuff, let me tell you. Done deal. I guess if this is accurate, no en banc application. No, I don't think they will appeal to the Supreme Court either. Dialogue between Grayscale and SEC should begin next week. Hoping for more info on next steps sometimes next week, next week or the week after. So people are waiting to hear on when the SEC, what date it's going to have to be able to have to approve this ETF, the deadline, so to speak. They're waiting on when will the deadline be. And many speculate that that deadline could be approved in January 2024. I also believe that although they're not going to appeal anymore, they are going to want to push this off as much as possible as they've been doing. So as you can imagine, it was kind of a shock today when I heard this fake news. So regardless of when it comes, if it comes in January, you've got more time. If it comes tomorrow, I hope you're prepared. So let's just make our strategy and act accordingly because we don't want to be chasing those green candles, guys. Next up, the, sp- the price speculations, the part you've all been waiting for. The BlackRock Bitcoin spot ETF will be huge, and here's why. There will be an inflow of $200 billion in capital, with only $2 million remaining Bitcoin available after the Bitcoin. The BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF can significantly limit supply supply and demand shock. This reduced availability has the potential to drive Bitcoin's price beyond $100,000. Now couple that with the halving. Couple that with the halving, okay? And then you've got here a $300 billion in the first 12 months by a former manager at BlackRock, which is very substantial. Consider waiting to purchase $300 billion worth of Bitcoin, equivalent to literally 10 million Bitcoin. Can this volume of Bitcoin be purchased at the current market price? Certainly not. The available supply of Bitcoin is limited, meaning acquiring such an amount will drastically drive up the price due to the high demand against the limited supply. The dynamic could easily propel Bitcoin's value to between $150,000 and $250,000. What I want to reiterate is that things don't happen overnight. It's not just going to shoot up to $200,000 automatically because the Bitcoin ETFs are approved. So things happen methodically, and if they don't, then it's completely unhealthy and it'll come crashing down anyway. So just know the potential here, what we're coming into, and it's essential that you make a plan. You make a plan now and you stick to it and you do your dollar cost averaging as much as you can until this news is released. And it's not fake news. Again, tomorrow you wake up and BlackRock ETF got accepted. Bitcoin is $52,000. What will you do next? You won't be chasing those green candles. (laughs) Guys, we are just upon some exceptional times Things are super exciting. I I cannot wait for what's to come. And I want to show you just one last chart to leave you with here today. This is the Bitcoin daily 200 MA and weekly 200 MA. As you can see, we're right there. We're right below it. It's around $28,000 at the time of recording. If we can break and hold that level, things will be looking a lot more bullish for Bitcoin. If not, as I've stated before in my first video, I believe the worst case scenario the bear case scenario for for the worst that could happen is that we could come down to retest our base. And I probably think it would be around 19 to $20,000 and build a foundation there. So regardless, it's not miles, it's not light years away from where we are now. And if you're building for the long term, then that really is pretty insignificant in the grand scheme of things. So right now, we are in the golden zone, and we've got some great opportunities ahead. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow.